Good day everyone. Our topic for today is all about center and radius of a circle given its general form. So let's start. Find the center and the length of the radius of the circle in each of the given equation. So meron tayo dito ang tatlong example. So let's start the solution for number 1. First thing to do is to separate the variable x dun sa variable y. So gagawin natin ay x squared plus 4x. Magkasama yung x squared saka yung 4x. Para sa may x. Magalagay lang tayo ng konting blanco dito. And later on pupunan natin yan. So we have plus y squared minus 6y. And yung positive 4 lipat sa kabila. Kaya magiging negative 4. Next, yung goal natin ay makarating sa form na x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals to r squared o yung ating center radius form. Kasi once na nandyan tayo sa center radius form, napakadali para sa atin na kuhanin yung center and yung radius. So yung center natin must be at h comma k and yung radius natin yun yung naka squared. Now, paano yung gagawin natin para magkaroon yan ng raised to 2. So, gagamitin natin yung concept na naituro sa atin nung tayo ay grade 9, which is decompleting the square. Kung nakalimutan nyo na, ganito natin gagawin yung completing the square. Una, kailangan tingnan muna natin yung coefficient ng x at yung coefficient ng y. Sila yung gagamitin natin. Unahin natin yung coefficient ng x. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, i-divide sa 2. So, we have 4 divided by 2. The answer is 2. After that, yung mga kuha ating sagot, i-squared natin. So, we have 2 squared or simply 4. Therefore, yung 4 yung i-add natin dun sa x squared plus 4x para makomplete yung kanyang square. Now, kung magdadagdag tayo ng 4 dito sa kaliwa, dapat magdadagdag din tayo ng 4 sa kanan. Since ito ay equation, dapat balance yung kaliwa dun sa kanan. Kaya pa nagdagdag ka sa kanan, magdadagdag ka rin sa kaliwa. Kung magbabawas ka sa kaliwa, kailangan mo rin magbawas sa kanan. Okay? So, magdadagdag tayo ng 4, both sides. Next, punta naman tayo dun sa negative 6. Negative 6 divided by 2, and we get negative 3. Next, yung negative 3 is squared natin, so magkakaroon tayo ng negative 3 squared or simply 9. Therefore, 9 yung i-add natin dun sa y squared minus 6y, and magdadagdag din tayo ng 9 sa kabilang side to make it balance. Next, simplify na natin. Yung x squared plus 4x plus 4, pag pinaktoy natin yan, yan ay x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 2. Or simply, x plus 2 squared. Next, ito naman, y squared minus 6y plus 9. Pag pinaktoy natin siya, we get y minus 3 multiplied by y minus 3. Or simply, y minus 3 squared. Next, yung kabilang side, simplify natin, negative 4 plus 4 plus 9. Or simply, 9. Next, i-rewrite natin yung 9 na merong squared. So, we have x plus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to 3 squared. Kasi yung 9 ay 3 squared. Therefore, nandun na siya sa form na x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equal to r squared. It follows na yung center natin is negative 2 comma 3. So, ito yung shortcut natin. Change the sign lang. Kung ito ay positive, ito ay negative. Kung ito ay negative, yung ating center ay positive. And yung radius natin, yun yung number na naka-squared, which is 3 units. And we're done. Next, let's move on to question number 2. So yung goal natin, hanapin yung center at yung length ng kanyang radius. Again, yung goal natin dito ay makapunta tayo sa form na x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equal to r squared. Kung mapapansin, wala dapat kasamang number yung x squared saka yung y squared. So yung gagawin natin, bago natin i-isolate yung x and y, i-divide muna natin sila dun sa number na kasama ng x squared and y squared. Or simply, i-simplify muna natin. Therefore, i-divide muna natin lahat sila by 3 para matanggal yung coefficient ng x squared and y squared. So divide natin lahat by 3, we get x squared plus y squared. 30 divided by 3, we have 10x. 6 divided by 3, we have negative 2. 63 divided by 3, we have 21. Next, i-separate na natin yung variable x dun sa variable y, kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina. Yung positive 21, dipat natin sa kabila. Next, gagamit ulit tayo na completing the square. So, ang kailangan natin, yung coefficient ng x na positive 10 at yung coefficient ng y na negative 2. Unahin muna natin yung positive 10. Kunin natin yung positive 10, i-divide natin by 2, and we get 5. After that, i-square natin yung 5, we get 25. So, yung 25 yung i-add natin both side. 
Next, kunin natin yung negative 2, divide natin by 2, we get negative 1. Negative 1 squared, we get positive 1. Yun yung i-add natin, both side. Next, simplify natin. Factor natin yung x squared plus 10x plus 25. And we get x plus 5 times x plus 5. Or simply, x plus 5 squared. Next, y squared minus 2y plus 1. Factor natin, we get y minus 1 multiplied by y minus 1. Or simply, y minus 1 squared. Now, kung mapapansin, bakit kaya nilagyan ko ng kulay yung answer nung nag-divide tayo by 2? Saka yung ini-squared natin. Now, tinang mabuti. 10 divided by 2, ang sagot ay 5. Yun yung kasama nung x sa loob ng squared. Next, negative 2 divided by 2, ang sagot ay negative 1. Yun naman yung kasama nung y. So, y minus 1. Ito naman, x plus 5. Actually, yun lang yung shortcut na. Okay? So, let's move on. Negative 21 plus 25 plus 1, or simply... 5. Next, gawin na lang natin siyang center radius form. We have x plus 5 squared plus y minus 1 squared is equal to square root of 5 raised to 2. It follows na yung center natin is at negative 5 comma 1. Change the sign lang to. And yung radius natin is square root of 5 units. And we're done. Now let's move on to example number 3. Again, yung goal natin ay makapunta tayo sa center radius form. Yung first thing na kailangan gawin, isolate yung x, isolate yung y, at yung constant lipat sa kabila. Next, gagamit tayo na completing the square. Yung coefficient ng variable x ay negative 1 kasi meron tayong imaginary 1 dito, at yung coefficient ng y ay positive 3. Next, gamitin natin na completing the square. Kunin natin yung negative 1, i-divide natin by 2, and yung answer natin is negative 1 half. Next, square natin, we get... 1 fourth. So, yung 1 fourth yung i-add natin both side. Like this. Next, kunin natin yung positive 3. I-divide natin by 2. So, 3 over 2 is simply 3 over 2. Squared natin, we get 9 over 4. Yun yung i-add natin dun sa y squared plus 3y. Next, simplify natin. Gamitan na natin ng shortcut. So, ito ay x minus 1 half raised to 2. Yung y naman, y plus 3 over 2 raised to 2. Is equal to, pag inad natin itong fraction, negative 2 plus 1 fourth plus 9 over 4, this is equivalent to 1 half. Next, i-rewrite na lang natin siya sa center radius form. We get x minus 1 half squared plus y plus 3 over 2 squared is equal to square root of 1 half raised to 2. Next, yung center natin is at 1 half comma negative 3 over 2. Ito ay change the sign lang. Next, yung radius natin, kailangan natin isimplify. Ang square root ng 1 half is the same thing as square root of 1 over square root of 2. Ito ay property ng radicals. Next, simplify natin. Ang square root ng 1 is just 1 at matitira ay square root of 2 sa denominator. Next, kailangan natin siyang irrationalize. Pag sinabing irrationalize, kailangan walang radical sa denominator. So, ang tendency, i-multiply natin to sa square root of 2 over Square root of 2. Next, simplify natin. We get square root of 2 all over square root of 2 times square root of 2 will give us square root of 4. And the square root of 4 is equal to 2. That's why we get the radius is equal to square root of 2 over 2 units. And we're done. Now, may magtatanong, so wala ba tayong short method or simply shortcut? And the answer is meron. So, ito yung ating short method. Okay, simulan natin doon sa example number 1. Dito sa number 1, yung center na nakuha natin ay negative 2, 3 at yung radius na nakuha natin ay 3 units. Next, para magamit natin yung short method, kailangan i-rewrite natin siya in the form of x squared plus y squared, walang kasamang coefficient yung x squared and y squared, plus ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. Kailangan naka-equate siya palagi sa 0. Now, yung value ng a, yun yung kasama nung variable x. Yung value ng b, yun yung kasama nung variable y. At yung c, ito yung constant. Para makuha yung center, ito yung gagamitin natin. Yung center is equal to negative a over 2, comma negative b over 2. Yung radius natin is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared minus 4c all over 2. Now, try natin. 
Doon muna tayo sa center. Ano ba yung ating A? A natin ay positive 4. At yung B natin ay negative 6. Isa substitute na lang natin to. So we have minus 4 all over 2, comma, negative of negative 6 all over 2. And negative 4 divided by 2 ay negative 2. At negative of negative 6 ay positive 6 divided by 2 ay positive 3. Therefore, ito na yung ating center. Okay? Now, yung radius naman. Palit natin yung A ng positive 4, yung B, negative 6, at yung C ng positive 4. Simplify na lang natin. 4 squared ay 16. Negative 4 times 4 ay negative 16. So, cancel na rin or 0. Negative 6 squared ay 36. Now, ano ba yung square root ng 36? Yun ay 6. 6 divided by 2 will give us 3. Therefore, yung ating radius ay 3 units. And we're done. Now, skip ko na yung number 2. Talo na tayo sa number 3. Yung merong fraction at merong square root. Yung center natin dito ay 1 half comma negative 3 over 2. At yung radius natin ay square root of 2 over 2 units. Ito yung medyo mahabang proseso bago natin makuha yung center and radius. Now, gamitin natin yung ating formula. Para magamit yung formula, kailangan natin i-rewrite siya in the form of x squared plus y squared plus ax plus by plus is equal to 0. Fortunately, yan ay naka-arrange na. It follows na yung a natin, yung coefficient ng x, yung b natin, yung coefficient ng y, at yung c natin ay yung constant term. Now, yung ating center is negative a over 2, kama negative b over 2. And yung length ng ating radius is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared minus 4c all over 2. Now, isubstitute na natin. Yung a natin ay negative 1 at yung b natin ay positive 3. So, we get negative of negative 1 divided by 2, kama negative 3 over 2. Negative of negative 1 is positive 1. So, we have 1 over 2. Ito yung 1 over 2. Negative 3 over 2 or simply negative 3 over 2. So, yung center natin is 1 half comma negative 3 over 2. Next, doon naman tayo sa radius. Palitan natin. Yung A natin ay negative 1. Yung B natin ay 3. At yung C natin ay 2. Negative 1 squared is 1. Plus 3 squared is 9. So, 1 plus 9 is 10. Minus 4 times 2 is 8. 10 minus 8 ay 2. So, yung nasa numerator natin, square root of 2, ito yon, all over 2 sa denominator. And, we're done. 